Hello and welcome to Zach Roman Free TV, and this is the Cars Land Cup Series finale uh, for the 2023 season. Uh, first off, in this broadcast, we're going to list off our championship four. We've got Vince Freeze in the booth with me today. But we're going to go ahead and start off. So, uh, uh, last week's winner, uh, Quadruped, he's in the championship four, highest um, pointing la last round. Uh, sponsored by uh, Target. He drives number one for track house racing. Yep, and our next one, I believe, is going to be, let's see, the real game in Freak 82. Actually, you know, is that we actually can list off the uh, stats because he has two wins on the season. He's led 91 laps, sponsored by, I believe, it's Sunoco. And he's got four top fives, eight top tens. He drives a Dodge. And uh, I'm not sure the t uh, team name. What is the team name? Sorry it about is, that. Uh... Uh, Dodge Team Racing. Dodge Team, okay, it just says Dodge, so I couldn't see it. So Dodge Team Racing has two. We'll get to that in a second. Three poles and six DNFs, and for Gaming Freak, it's been more of a boomer bust season. Has really good qualifying pace, but he sometimes can finish in the mid-pack, and then sometimes he just not finishes at all. But he has two wins. He, he stayed a little consistent. Expect him to be a, a possible threat today as we'll never know what a super speed will bring until we get to the middle of the race when tire wear begins to fall off. Yep. Uh, and then next on the list, we got Brandon Nelson uh, riding on our Chevys of the Championship 4. We have two Chevys, two Dodges. Uh, he's probably the uh, got the least... Uh, well, I'd say he's got the least uh, best stats. Uh, but he's got... Uh, he doesn't have any wins this year. His last win came in 2021 Old Spice. 21 laps to the year. Uh, six top fives, eight top tens, one pole, unfortunately five DNFs, but looking to show something here despite not really showing much of anything all year. And finally, the last Dodge Racing team member is going to be third Alexa Gaming, obviously in the number 20. Similar to uh, Brandon Nelson, no wins, 37 laps led, five top fives, eight pack of top tens, Dodge as we said, one pole, two DNFs, less DNFs, but no wins. You got to start thinking, Zach, for the same thing. It's all about who finishes best, who's the most consistent today. But uh, these two drivers really were just persistent. And sometimes to, to be a champion, you just have to be persistent through all the muck and the mud and get through it, for sure. Well, uh, that's going to round us up for our uh, beginning of this. We'll go ahead and go to qualify, see who gets the pole, your final pole of the season, and then we'll uh, head straight to the race. You work hard all season, 39 rounds in. You get to this last round, and only one thing remains. A trophy for delight, but before you hit that sunshine, you have to go through Cars Land Super Speedway. The home of the CCS, the home track of the headquartered, the home track of many. But for one, it's going to be a championship moment, because today, a champion will be crowned, but also a country will be crowned. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the finale for the Cars Land Cup Series. And this is going to be our first ever, I believe Zach 103 told me correctly, Olympic-style Final Four. For the number one quadruped representing America, it's been a season of ups and downs. Many believe quadruped, though, was consistent at a lot of high-speed tracks. He has the most top tens of this championship four. And we all remember him for his famous incidents at Watkins Glen and really just being consistent on these high-speed tracks. Super Speedway racing is different, though, here, and we'll explain further as the, pro as the progress goes on. Moving over to the Game and Free. Two wins, 91 laps led, eight top tens. He drives a Dodge, and he starts out front. For the Freak, he's the best of the championship four contenders qualifying at the front. For him, it's going to be about understanding the lines. Because when you're starting in the, in the front rows of this race, the trap position battle will be won. But the question is, with this counterclockwise layout, can he find the grooves early? Moving on to Brandon Nelson. For the gaming freak who represents the North American continent of Canada, for Nelson, it's down on the might. All the way down to Australia. He's only led 21 laps. But more importantly than his 21 laps led, he's got the same amount of top 10s as the Gaming Freak. One less top 5 than Quadruped in a Chevy. It's been a, it's been a season full of ups and downs as well. 
he's had to go through some. He obviously had his home race last week at Bathurst. A little homecoming. We'll see, though. For Nelson, starting towards the tail end of the field, it's going to be about avoiding the chaos early and getting through. And finally, but certainly last, last but not least, excuse me, third Alexa Gaming from Francais, all the way out in France. You know, Paris is the city of uh, the Eiffel Tower, and it gave us croissants in many ways. But for Alexa Gaming, it's going to be about understanding how to bread and butter her way through the field. Because when you're starting on that back row, it's all about understanding the draft effect early and avoiding the wreck. And you can avoid the wreck, you can get to the finish line first. But before we have to start the race and before we get all the headlines, we have to think about the people that missed out. Look at Barney Thresher third, Ripsy Shy, Joy Paints. They were the big three in a way, right? They all combined for a whopping 11 wins combined. And you got to think a lot of these people should be here, but they're not. And that's going to conclude my broadcast with the pre-race headline. Zach, it's been an interesting season. You've had most of the season more than me. It's an honor to be here to commentate this last race. Uh, yeah, what are we looking forward to, man? Tire wear is going to be critical, and obviously, who knows? What, I'm really worried about this start. The start has been the biggest storyline. With this being single file, restarts excluding the start of the race. It's something to look into. Uh, we'll see. 60-lap race, same way as the spring. A little bit different package compared to the spring. No wind should be should be interesting on the draft as well. Yep, got about twenty seconds to the command. Uh, again, pulse is gonna be starting on the outside here, or as it looks, because it's Sean Ard, by the way, because the track layout being weird. But uh, other than that, I think that's all I need to say. I'm gonna go get the command here in just a couple seconds. Driver, start your engine. Crew Chiefs are going to be pounding that number. This is a championship-defining legacy race for one driver and one team. It's going to be legacy-defining, as I said. For the rest of the three, while you may not win a championship, we have somebody with... Oh, never mind. As we have somebody... Uh, oh, never mind. You're good. You're good. That's something that came up there. Well, for the other three drivers, it's going to be more about... What was that? I was checking the chat. It looks like the 20. I'm not sure if this is in any of the other... I was going to say... But... Engine damage might be an issue for the 20, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. I'm not sure if he actually has it or not, but that's what it said in the chat. We'll see how it goes. For the other three drivers, if you don't win, just to get here to this point is like winning a championship. This is the end of the era, Zach. This point system is gone. The pace car is going to make that hard right turn into the pit lane. You can see how the lanes are incredibly long here. We have five lane racing, as I like to say, about 200 feet almost of racetrack. Sean Ard. In the middle run, energy 67. It's been a hell of a year, but will he get to that restart zone first on the last lap? We'll find out. As the pace car is off, and we're ready to go racing for one last time at Cars Land Super Speedway. On spectator cam for this turn one, just to make sure in case we catch any wrecks. We got a wreck. Almost. They save it. Those skid marks are probably from practice or something. You can see already the inside line is going to be really critical off the start. And you see already he's just going to lose time and positions. Now, the question is, she's Dripsy Shibe there. There's a game in free right there. And Quadruped, who's going to have the momentum? Because once we get the lap seven, Zach, those tires start to wear. And that's the key. They're going to be singing uh, around 240, I would think, around here. Probably next lap, 240 on uh, top speed, I would think, as they go five, six wide. <laughs> Look at that. Cars Lane Speedway Racing. There's Quadruped. We talked about the championship four. He's the first one to strike looking to lead a lap. There's no bonus points. There's nothing fancy. For... You can lead 59 laps, but if you don't lead that last one, that's how the system goes. First lap go as we get the ticker up here. For the fans at home, see Quadruped is the best at championship four. Looks like that's the uh, 28. Bradley Ream coming underneath for second. Looking to spoil the party. Right now, you can see everyone trying to stay consistent with the lines. You understand where the rhythm is in the draft. Shake and bake a little bit. Find it. Reem's had an interesting season this year. Been very inconsistent, but he goes there. That's quadruped. This is a big day. He's going to the high line. Let's see how many positions he goes back. Let's see. Question is, uh, is this a strategic... I think this line is a little strategic to kind of save your stuff a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. 
but we'll see uh, how that ends up. I hope them out in the long run. Let's make sure Alexa gaming has got no engine issues. Looks pretty good in the middle of the pack. No problems. This seems okay. I just been a something happy hour of practice. Yeah, right now looking really good. Uh, as I was saying though earlier, before I uh, had checking quadruped, this season's really gonna, or this track's really gonna be about understand tire wear. You're gonna get your best lap in the draft first couple laps. Once we get to lap seven, eight, it starts to single file out, and that's that's where positioning could matter, and where you started could have mattered. Right now, the best of the championship four, I believe, still quadruped, but he he took that strategic line. I want to see how far he can move up and down using that strategic line. Actually, it's 82 of the uh, gaming crew. Uh, Brandon Nelson also right behind that uh, one car right now. Okay, interesting to note. Now, new leader actually is going to be, I believe it's Drummer Chick 81. Is that or, teammate to? Uh, no, but fun fact, she got her first win since 2021 a couple weeks ago at Atlanta. Interesting. Okay, well, right now she's got the lead. Just looking to maintain the pace here. 51 looking underneath. Yep. Are you starting to see him file out a little bit? Yeah, you, 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 you go with please. Last in points, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Dead last. Yeah, no wins looking to cap one off. We've had a lot of people win this season that are way in the back. Like Crown Juniors won, Jordan, Stover, even Gunther Squid. Who could forget Chef Squid? <laughs> yep. Our uh, Zexo 32B400 winner. Yep, yep. The old Watkins Glen Ray. That was a classic one. Oh, this could be trouble to get away with it. Oh, back, uh, Gunther. Teammates there, 28 and 76. Gunther gets away with it. Oh, is this is it. Is that, we're starting to see it right here. Tire were two seconds. And now you really got to think about positioning because... At 82 right now of uh, Gaming Freak, he, he's where he wants to be, but the crew chief needs to start crunching numbers. Undercut could work here. It, it, it very well could, but we've seen accidents on pit road, and th that's the thing. When you see accidents on pit road coming out and coming in, as you can see, look how low they get in the corner, just making up so much distance time. They're, so, they're songing out about 245, 250. I think the first couple laps about two. Now they're going to start songing out about 245. That just shows you the top speed starting to go down in the corner. Once you get to that outside, you get into the marbles, you lose all traction. That that makes a difference. But for game, I like where he's at. He's in his nice pack, and he's looking good. Let's see where Quadruped's at. He was the top of the championship for World Championship 4 update. You know, I like where he's at, though, because mid-pack, you can still do something with it. It's early in the race, and all he's got to do is watch. Get to that inside line. Start nicking some people off. Once you start cracking the whip per se, you can see as he goes to that low line, get back into that top ten. He's looking good. Gaming freak still leads, but I like where Quadruped's at. I also like where uh, Alexa Gaming is right there in the top ten. Really, really solid spot. Understanding the draft right now, understanding her tires, managing because the edge grip's going to start falling off. That one thing. One thing about this track is you can see this isn't smooth asphalt. The uh, the asphalt's war. It's a little grayer than usual when we got back here from the spring. Now we're into the, I would say, the, the twilight of fall. We're, yeah, we're entering close to winter. And uh, even though it's 90 degrees, <laughs> uh, it's a little cooler from the 120 degrees we had back in the spring. And, and, the, and the asphalt wears through the heat. And uh, grip's going to matter, as you see, going up to the outside line, using what Zach said, use a little bit of that engine. Less engine, just save a little bit of the stuff. Now, Zach, you got, you got to be careful with that. Crew Chase probably saying on the radio, Jenner Burris takes the lead. You can only do that so much, because once the tires start to wear out, you could be in trouble. Now, let's look at Brandon Nelson. He's the last one of our championship four. I've not seen him all race. Let me scroll back here. Right there in second, or third. Now, see, him and Freak, they're going to start to rotate this lead. And sometimes following each other's wake, is a good strat, but it can also be a terrible strat, right? Because coming up pit road, you could potentially run into people, and if you go one lap later, you could lose the tire differential. But so far, all chip, all chip contenders are really staying humble, staying low, and kind of just vibing right now. There's nothing really to push. As you can see, Cody, whoa! Forge going to the lowest forge, as I like to say, on that inside lane. Hits that first seam. 
Sometimes Stroud in those seams, believe it or not, can upset the card balance. But for Cody, he seems to ride him pretty well. And I think he'll take the lead here. Yeah, he'll take the lead. Jonah Burge actually led a uh, few laps there as well. Yeah, and Jonah will send right there out to the front. Is Cody still leading? I believe that, is that who was down at the bottom right there? Is that? Reggie Fogelman. Oh, yeah, I couldn't tell. Like new, yeah, Reggie Fogelman wanted to make sure. Yeah, Reggie's been in the quiet all season. Got a really Coke Super Speedway. Yeah, so you know Super Speedway racing, but ever since that Coke Super Speedway, it's just been kind of quiet. Ryan, there's Freak. Look at this. Look at that. Middle line. He's right there with Nelson. They're starting to make moves. As you see, Barney, one of the biggest. Uh, Actually, was that a spring race here at this track. I was just going to about to say, he won the spring race. He's been one of the biggest threats all season. Obviously, for many, he probably should be here with Joy Paints. Um, that's not how the cookie... Yeah, Drifty, they shouldn't be They should be here, but the cookie don't crumble. and That'll be fixed next year. But here comes Gaming Freak. What does he do? He's going to go a little higher. You can see he's playing a conservative strategy. Save that stuff. Don't burn up the rear and the, and the front. The rear tires, believe it or not, will, ha will hold here. It's just the front tires because you're, you're actually using brake. You're you're going from 250 to 236, 230. You think it's nothing, but try going from 250 on the straights, 240 to what pit road speed of what 55, 60? I think it's 70. 70 it's very it, fast. Understand that's still 180 miles per hour off the throttle. You gotta, you gotta understand the brakes package here are very light. They're not supposed to be heavy. It's a light package, and now Game of Freaks going back, and look who's rising to the occasion. That number one Target Quadruped Chevy. Starting to look really good. As you can see, uh, I believe that's that's not hard. Who is that? Uh, Sammy the Box. Sam, Sammy the Box. Yeah, similar schemes uh, from MRE. But yeah, Sammy the Box now. Look at the go underneath. He's been quiet all race. Now Quadruped Nelson right there side by side basically in a line. Uh, they're basically going to follow each other. There's Game of Free. Look at that. Hey, and there's, <laughs> there's the legs of Game. Look at that shot. Take a screenshot of that. All four. Oh, look at that. It's great. All four in a line working together. <laughs> Keep that on the notes for lap 11. Yeah, lap 11, a sixth of the way through, 17%. <laughs> you know what, though? I, I, usually in the final four, sometimes in the super speed race, you're, <laughs> your best friends are where you can find them is the old edge. And today, well, your best friends are literally your rivals. That's sometimes how it works. But not anymore, Gaming Freak and Alex are going to duel it up right here. I think that's going to mean... That championship four gets no, they're gonna stay in line. Wow, so some cooperation from the championship four that you never really see that in a, in a midway through the run. But the tire wear is weird here. You look two second fall off from the guys in the back, but up the front, they're still running some of their best laps. And now, this is where we're gonna start breaking away right here because I believe Nelson's gonna go to the uh, inside and quadruped to the middle. That should break them up. Yep, there we go. Move the 81 up a little bit. But still, all pretty much packed together, and we can all say all chip four contenders were in the top ten together. It's it's rare to say that. Top two in the race now. Nelson, Alexa Gaiman, Francais, down on the mite. That's going to be interesting to track all races. We almost get a contact back there. I believe that was the 81 drummer check really close, and, and Cazzo. They got away with it. Yeah, they got away with it. Barely. There's, uh, I believe, Paul Jr. 22. He had a horrid time the first time in the spring. I remember him having uh, incidents, and he was just struggling. But he's and looking really good surge. now. And late season surge. He was able to make it to the round of eight. Unfortunately, got eliminated last week after Bathurst. Yeah, Bathurst wasn't his cup of tea, but it's still Alexa Gaming and Nelson leading the chip four early. Here comes Choi Paints, I believe. Yeah, put Paints out. Uh, definitely what, what we just talked about her. Not here, but still in spirit trying to get that last win would be a fifth. And I think Joy Pates won three races this year, Zach, on Crown Jewels, if not uh, mistaken. Three Crown Jewels, and she won Le Mans. And for many, for many, that's almost like a Crown Jewel because of how prestigious Le Mans is, the 24-hour race. Uh, so big big race hunter Joy Pates was, uh, won everything right at the right time in terms of the big race, but unfortunately just was a product of the system, just like, uh, ironically, Barney Thrasher is sure right next to her. This is crazy, Zach. This is, they've, they've been running next to each other all season. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's crazy to think that we have a championship for the people that should be there. At one point, the 54, Dripsy was right there with them. 
It's like it's almost like a, it's almost like a final seven. Now he's at the back, but he'll catch back up. Uh, he's actually kind of by himself back there. His uh, backpack is starting to kind of file out big time. This is where it is. It's about he's probably right at the cusp of the first pack, 25 car pack, with all tip four contenders in the front. It's very good to see. Surprising as well. Let's go to the Alexa Gaming. Yep, yep, she'll go upstairs as I believe Fogelman takes the lead now. Yep. Yeah, for and Gunther second. Yeah, Bird, Birdman, Gunther. We'll see how the heat. There we go, Zach. There's Quadruped. Once again, he, he seems to be the best at timing that outside inside maneuver. And I think he's starting to save a little bit of that front tires. You can see Bird Van go to the top line. But Quadruped's really starting to time these runs well. And I think Alexa Gaming needs to start doing the same thing. Because you think Quadruped's going to have no run here, but he gets the outside run right here, uses the draft, and he's just saving a little bit of that front tire. And. You never know that it could be one one extra lap could be enough to make the difference to where you take an overcut strat. That might be enough just to have less fuel in that second stop. We don't know what the pit window will be exactly. Uh, probably we, around lap 30, 32. It, it, it could be a case where if you can save your stuff, you can go 33, 34. It may not seem like a lot, but you get a little quick, a little bit fresher tires. You get some friends coming in later. Might be there. We're halfway through a fuel run, and I think everyone's pretty equal in the championship four. No one's really going crazy. As we see the Leos go back to the lead right now, Gunther and Fogelman at the front. The Wolf up there, I believe, right? Yep. Yep, Eli the Wolf. He's now the leader. For Eli, it's been an interesting season as well. Zach, you want to tell the fans about that? Uh, yeah, he uh, he's really had a pretty off season. Hasn't got any wins. Uh, rookie season as well, so expectations were hugely high. Uh, he's going to be leaving this team, uh, track house after next year, probably race for his own team, uh, be teammates with uh, Champ 4 contender right now, Brandon Nelson. And you just gotta keep in mind, these guys, these other guys, it's not just the championship for a uh, race. He's got these other guys here are trying to use these 60 laps, lead, lead them uh, as much as they can, get some laps led, uh, get some points just for regular season standings as well. Yeah, that, the, the, the funny thing is... Uh, you can still fight for P5 and point. That's that's the one good thing. So there is a battle within a battle, of course, in the chip four. You can see Eli the Wolf just lose all the time. And it's starting to get spicy at the front. And we're starting to lose people left and right at the back of the pack. We're Oh, boy. That might be our first more well, casualties. That might be gaming free. But a, no, Alexa Gaming might be at the back of that pack and starting to lose pace. Just a little bit. 5162. Oh, never mind. Just just gets lucky with the draft on the inside line, but you can see that the times are falling off. Gonna have to be very strategic about when you make that move for sure now. It's starting to become more of a strategy race on the lines. For sure. Let's go back to the camera angle. It's now Cody Forge at the lead. For Cody, it's been, like I said, an interesting season. But more importantly for Cody is now he gets shuffled back to Nelson. I believe, yeah. Nelson's starting to starting to break just a little bit the pack. Now this is this is interesting. We talk about breakaways and when to, you know, pull the pin as per se. At a super speedway, you can't really pull the pin. But we did see in the spring race that Thrasher pulled the pin on that last stop, and what happened? Five second lead, no one was catching him, even in the single single car draft. Not over yet, and not out of the realm of possibility that he could be testing this for the end. And Thresher, of course, he has experience. <laughs> he's right there. Uh, and, and, These Wood Brothers cars, uh, 121, 60, 89, and uh, I can't remember the other one, are uh, starting to show uh, to be a little bit of a stronger part of this uh, field. I think the other one was the 22 of Dan Paulus Jr. Yep, Paulus Jr. also in the mix. Those DPJ definitely showing some strength here today. That's how it should be, right? You know, a lot of people question, "Oh, what's the point? What's the... that's that's how that's how the game works, man." You know, what what teams show up in certain aspects of a, of a track type? It depends on a lot of factors, right? Your dyno, your engine, as I like to say, your chassis. But for super speedways, it's really dyno and aero, and the Wood Brothers really bring out good aero and dyno usually on plate tracks. Now. There's John or Burgess. We look for him. Nelson's still leading, but let's look at that lap time. Let's see. Let's compare first to second. 
Fifty sixty. Now second purge. Last lap, obviously. Yeah, you can see three tenths quicker in this draft as you look like they were going caution right there, but they're all singling out. And that's that's the product of what we were saying is that it's, it's starting to become the point where that we're hitting second fall off now. As Thrasher goes for second, that's when you start to realize track position, track position, trap, and line positioning is just becoming less and less, which is huge. Thrasher now seems to be the best at it. Nelson's still staying tucked in. Let's go on board Barney Thrasher. What makes him good about CCS? We're about to find out. Let's go to that cockpit view. Here we go, cockpit. You see on the steering wheel, he's just turning right, obviously, but you can see he's just using a little bit of that banking. He's going to stay high. He's going to let a couple went about four pass. Now he's just going to get this top run. As you can see, he lets Gaming Freak go by. Good work by Gaming Freak to get back in. That's uh, Alexa Gaming, excuse me. Yeah, easy to mix up. Yeah, easy to mix up. See, Thrasher's just going to stay high. You can see he's, he's just he's understanding where the banking, the runoff goes down. As you continue to climb the banking, you're going to lose time on distance, but what you are going to gain is exit momentum. And the exit velocity off this turn is a little higher. He gets the run. Now here it's about just getting that steering wheel straight. Even though there's no straight back stretch, it's as straight as you can get it. Get that wheel less input. And when you have less inputs on the steering wheel, that means you save a little tire life. Does a great job there. Gets to the bottom, but not fully to the bottom. Don't want to burn too much up. There's a fine line with the second seam. Now he's got someone on his right. Gonna let him in. He's just gonna go back to the outside, start getting this wrapped, and do it all over again. It's a lap around Cars Land. But it's very well executed. You can see the, 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 the winner of this race will tend to have less steering inputs on the straight and way more turnoff, especially on the outside lines. You see a little contact almost there with the Garcelle Manor. Uh, towards the last five laps of the race, where the runs become less and less as the spread out. As you can see, Evan H, our champion from last year. Uh, oh, yeah, there is there actually. Let me see that separation again. Evan H to the next car. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's there. Zach. That's it. I think I think we might have our first pack, and that, that's it. Maybe the guy's right back. I'm not sure who that is back there in 12th, but. It's, uh, Bruce Crown Jr. and Dale Falls Jr. They're going to have the juniors are going to have to work again really fast because you can easily get ditched. I think they're okay. I think that little pack behind. Uh, was that Kazo? That's the last guy. On. Yeah, I think that's going to be there. Maybe Cody Cody Forge, but that's it. Uh, I don't I don't know if anybody else can get back up here. I think tire wear is becoming an extreme factor. We're here falling off a second and a half and, and plus. It's starting to turn into more of a line race, and it's more acquisition of when do you want to move and when do you want to groove on that pit stop. You got to understand pit strategy. There's Quadruped back there. He's in that second pack. Gaming Freaks back there. Did they miss time? And right now, Alexa Gaming. And Nelson seemed to be the runaway favorites, but I will say for Quadruped, he's on the fringe, whereas I believe Gaming Freak, yeah, you, you can't be doing that. You're now falling off on the high line. It could be game over, especially with five laps. Pit window begins to open for sure. We'll give it to Zach here for a second. Any observations, Zach, almost halfway through this race and way more than halfway through this pit fuel run? Yeah, we're starting to notice this, uh, these pat this, uh, Field separating big time here is uh, again 82, probably the lowest running of the champ four right now. Uh, definitely didn't quite get the side of the the. They were, I bet they were thinking uh, it was, there was going to be a little bit longer before the draft started separating. But uh, if we took any notes from the spring race, it was actually earlier in the spring race, and we soon started seeing separation. Whereas now we're seeing it a lot later in the run. Yeah, separation seems to be the key and. Nelson now losing the lead. Who's in the 88 set? My apologies. Uh, Jessica, 14. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I, just wanted, I didn't want to say it. it was kind of. I had a feeling it was J14, but J14 in the lead. I believe it's still Nelson up front. It's the top four championship contenders. Gunther out the, out the out, outright lead. And one thing about Cars Land, it's, this is the finale. And in reality, you, you get to get dual burnouts if you get an individual champ and Final Four champ. So. Very cool. See who gets one last win. Maybe to join the champion in the celebration on the front stretch. It is wide enough. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I can figure something out there. Yeah, Reggie Fogelman, I believe, at the back there is starting to mm. stay in contention. Let's see here. Yeah, he's still in there. He's good. 
Gaming. What's well, a game you started following? Let's see. Yeah, uh, that's a second and a quarter. Oh yeah, and then that's 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 the question, right? Well, now you're in this danger zone of you can stay in the draft, but now the front tires are shot, and you you get to that high one, you get shuffled up once. It's game over. You're gonna need more people going to the bottom and starting to shuffle up front. Jonah Birds, man, seems to be the best car today. I'm telling you, and. and and I would say it's Barney, but those two seem to be the best. And Jonas seems to be very understand the lines. Well, now Barney's in 11th. He's right behind Gaming Free. But for Jonah, it's, it seems to be that four power and the arrow are trimmed out more. And, and you look at the setups around here. It's not really about the arrow at the start of the run. It's towards the end of the run. You can push your th tires and push the aerodynamics early. But at the end of the run, you need the most grip, especially the line grip and the edge grip on the, on the, on the lower lines. To turn through the center, and he seems to be the best at as J14 looks underneath potentially here with the draft. Nelson just staying in line. He doesn't have to win this race. He's just going to see what those two have to do in front. It's been impressive for Nelson this race. He's handled it more like a maestro, more than just the, a full center, would you say, Zach? Uh, yeah, 100%. Uh, he knows what he's got to do here, and uh, he's doing it in a way he knows he can. That's big problems, Zach. For, that's a huge loss for Alexa, Alexa Gaiman. From 2.2 to 3.9, basically. I think I got a feeling Barney Thrasher probably tried to challenge her. And where's Thrasher? Yeah, he lost time, too. And I think they just held each other up. And you're losing over two and a half, three seconds almost. It's going to get to the point where I don't know if four seconds is... Is that comebackable in a way? It's not insurmountable, but you're going to have to really gain on the pit stop and... What I mean pit stop is you have to really get on pit entry. You got to close the distance. Gapping out of the... Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. They're losing time. 3.8 to 4.5. I think the right people are out front. Jessica 14's out front. Nelson's out front. Jonah's out front. Evan H is out front. We're getting some good people out front. The only one, in my opinion, has kind of been nowhere all day. And it's not saying much is the, uh, the 66. Of Roach, he's been kind of nowhere, just mid-pack, never, never sniffed the lead. But even him, he's got a strong car in the aero department as the tires wear. And that's it. Oh, here we go, Zach. Pit stops now. This is it. We're starting to get into it. Next lap, we're going to see who pulls that undercut. I think we'll do one more lap, and then we'll go to pit road camp for sure. Yep. Hope is uh, no one wrecks coming into the pit road. That's a concern we have for sure. Let's just look at the back of the pack, make sure we have no engine failures or nothing. As you can see... Uh, like yep, everything. Running. That's good. No cautions needed. Uh, there is no pit line violations. There's, there's no pit blend line here. It's you just merge. There's no there's no yellow lines on this track. It's it's very open. It's open roads on a, on a super speedway, basically. Okay, All right, here we go. Exit just fine. Hopefully. Here we go, Zach. This is it. We're gonna find out right now. Does J14 bring it down? Right, let's go to the pit entry. Yeah, there we go. They wrap up to 245 miles per hour. There we go. There we go. Is that gaming? Is that the Alexa gaming in the pits? Could be a good call. Yeah. The question is here, can everyone come in and out safely? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, but these guys are flying up there. Is everyone safe? If we have a wreck on pit road, obviously, if it's a danger, we're going to have to throw a yellow. Because this is a dangerous place to... Not throw yellow. Yeah, I think it would actually throw it, be a game. Very fast uh, got, speeds, very very risky calls. We got the chat, Zach. We got the chat lighting up. What is the call? Four tires and fuel for most. Where's that twenty? First out of pit road, I believe, is uh, the eighty-eight. Not a not a problem. Where's the twenty? There's the twenty. Everyone seems good. Now let's go back to pit entry. Uh, twenty. Uh, okay. That's pit exit. Entry, let's see who else is coming in. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, here we go. Roach is staying out. Now, it's gonna be everyone should make it on field. There should be no issues here. But tires, the overcutters, they, they're gonna lose some time. You want to undercut here. This could be a championship winning move by third Alexa game. Where did Quadruped come in? 
It's just so many cars coming in and out of pit road. It's such a fast track. He's out already. He was an undercutter. Now, where's uh, Nelson? Still got some guys coming in and out. Nelson stays out a little longer. There's Evan H. That's, that was the lead group, though. Evan H. Evan H. <laughs> thinking this is a go kart track. Whoa! <laughs> That's the pace car. Don't worry about it. No, that was, I know, but that was close with, uh, the Jonah? Yeah, I gotta, yeah, we won't, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was close. Yeah, this pit road, the thing is, the pit speed's so high, but cars coming out of pit road takes them in to get up to speed. It's the main Yeah, issue. it's, see if they get full, so, the drummer chick stay out? Uh. We get people staying out? I don't think she did stay out. Okay, yeah, she did. Yeah, stay out. No, she's 48, out. 48 stayed out too. Some of these For guys, a minute. I think, can... Yeah. Bit, so we know the... I think uh, either Jessica or... I don't think Jonah... Jonah may have... I know he was up front. I think he pitted it. Yeah, he did pit. He pitted. Everyone pit. These were the last two. This is the, this one, the cycle. But look how slow they were. Six seconds off the pace. Probably at the back. They're just trying something. Now, they will have fresh tires, but is it worth it? Yeah, that's going to be... Now we're going to... We're going we're gonna, to... We're gonna, the timing and score and recycle. But if my opinion, if everything worked out, I believe Alexa Game will be your leader. Of the championship four. Depending on if she got up to speed. Here we go. Yeah, it takes a couple laps to get up to speed at this track, so there's going to be some cars really slow in front of these guys just because of pace. Where's Nelson? I'm amazed they made it through there. I think I think that undercut, buddy, that might be the winning call. I'm telling you, that it, it may, you might get hurt a little bit uh, towards the end of the run. But if the tires wear enough where it's about 15 laps and you just don't have enough line distance, that might be the game-winning call. We'll find out. There's Roach, but he's not the leader. We know that. He might be. Or, I think he, he... We know he did pit. He is the leader. Yeah, he did pit. Oh, boy. But you can see, when you have no draft... Oh, my goodness. That's it, Zach. That's it. Third Alexa game, I think, has a... It depends on that gap, but where's where's the next championship? Where's Quadruped? Quadruped had very slow. Speed. He, he no, he's hey, he might be done. Where's where's the eighty two? Where's Gaming Free? It's gonna be the key. Ooh, not much better. He ain't, no, Nelson. If, if Nelson's, I think Nelson's closer to uh, Alexa Gaming. Fourteen. He's there. Even though he had a minute last time, let's just get up to speed. He's there. This could, how how let's go, how much is the interval? Let's see from third to fourteenth. Let's see timing and scoring resetting. It comes third place. Oh my goodness! Back. Jonah Bird shuffled her eye. This is the chip battle. This will be it. It's going to be Alexa Gaben versus Nelson. France versus Australia is going to be the championship battle. That's it. I think the top two are going to have to sell this amongst themselves. Salamander and Rod. No one's catching them. Yeah, very, unless uh, we get strong call by the 66. Unless we get some lappers. Let's see the who, who's in last. Uh, six four Shangle. Let's teammate. just see. Let's just Pete Roach's teammate, by the way. Keep in mind, Looks pretty good. He's yep. Twenty seconds ahead of the other of the leaders right now. Maybe. I mean, unless he falls off a second a lap, I. It, 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 you might get him on the last two laps in a row, and that's that would be something. <laughs> uh, back to the leaders, though. That's more important. You can see a lot of people have dropped out this season. We do apologize for that. It's just two leaders now. There's Alexa Gaming. There's Nelson. Battle for the leader right now. Battle for the We'll get to that in a second. As, never mind. Salamander goes high. Let's go back to the champ, the champ two now at this point. With no pit stops coming, unless someone missed time to fuel. Yeah, there's a 20. Where's the 03? I don't even think they're in oh, the top 10 at this point. 03 is back in 17th, buddy. And he's. He's dangerously close to ending his. This might be it. That undercut call, that could be the winning move of this race. Could you could you imagine that undercut call being the winning move of this race? And that's what it takes. These crew chiefs have to crunch numbers, and sometimes when you crunch them too much, uh, you can overthink it. Sometimes when you crunch them enough, 
go from there. Let's go to the front. Roach looking really good, Salamander. Starting to close the gap from third to second. The question is, how how can they stay in line? Um, you also got to keep in mind, can the second line catch up? Any? They have some draft after. Not a lot, but some. Second line has to stay in line, basically. Because if they start dicing it up and slicing, they're going to Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's look at that. So, who, second place. These guys would run 5102. What was the third place running? I would think 50, 50, I think it's 57, 57, 55. Ready, All right, no problem. Fifty-five, far better, Zach. Good. Yeah, Roach, Roach still leading this race. I, you can see 50.5. They're, they're going to have to run 52s. And these guys have to consistently run 51 twos. Uh, I think, in my opinion. We'll know you hear about Roach. Roach has gotten three wins this season, all of which coming in the later half of the season, which is interesting. His best season so far uh, in terms of wins. Be right back, Zach. You can commentate a little bit. I got to do some real quick. So uh, Roach currently, uh, so Roach, Dripsy, Marnie Thresher III, and Joy Paints are the guys that have, or actually Roach only has two right now, but Roach, if he can close this out in the lead right now, if he can win this thing, he will have three wins to a season. Uh, just keep in mind as well, he just won the NCCRS Championship as a team owner with uh, Sumdan in the NCCRS, so a dominant performance by the uh, Roach Racing Dodge team this later half of the season. Unfortunately, he just wasn't able to clutch in in the beginning half. As you see Gar Salamander there trying to get a run. Uh, Gar Salamander uh, going to Ford next season, announcing that next year will probably be his last full-time Cup Series uh, CCS season. As the team's going to Ford next season, as uh, he may be losing, uh, he may be going down, scaling down to a one-car operation, similar as to his uh, 2021 run, I believe. Or actually, no, he did not have a single-car operation ever. <laughs> My bad. But uh, it's you know. It's not all about the playoff drivers. We still got some guys trying to finish out in season standings. It's still a race. Roach, again, though, if he can close this out, again, 20 laps once you cross the stripe now this time, uh, he will have three wins of the season tied with Dripsy for the most wins um, with three, and Dripsy currently 19th. And then we have uh, Barney Thresh the third, who's 14th, has four wins this season, and Joy Paints, who also has four wins this season. In 24, so just an absolutely dominant season by those uh, four cars. Unfortunately, with this point system, we won't be able to see them come out with a title. But next year, it will definitely be something to watch if they can repeat this kind of consistency for 2024. I'm back, Zach. Thank you for taking care of that. Appreciate Daniel Polish Jr. now and Birdman. Let's see 58 here. Hmm. Catch a little bit, not a whole lot. I don't the think it'd problem be is, I think the problem is we don't have the right guy out front, and they need. It's going to sound weird, but they almost need not a weep to get in front because he pit the latest, and you can see him pitting late, running six seconds in the back. It just shows you when you have a clean pit road to, you can make up time. He needs to be out front. He has the freshest tires. He's got to almost be out front, and drag this crew up forward. And I think this is going to be his chance right here. Oh yeah, they're catching. That was half a second, and look at this. Zach, you might as well just call it perfectly timed quotes part two, because look at this. this. If he gets out there, they're going to start to run, and Paulus just sticks behind. I mean, Paulus came in late, too. One of those two lead, if it's Weeb, I think they're going to catch him. There, there, there's no way they're not. Game and Freak's in great shape. I mean, Alexa Game is in great shape. Game and Freak, quadruped are in trouble. Nelson was just hanging out. I think he's done. They're done. They're gonna need. They're gonna need some unfortunate luck from uh, the yeah, quadruped way in the back now. They're gonna need some Nelson. How far is that from? He's in 13 now. Trasher's underneath. How far is that away? Yeah. Yeah, Even that stuff. Not really much yeah. change in between uh, distance between the two in this entire run. They're gonna catch him, Zach. That went from 5.4 to 5. Point. If they continue to chop off three tenths, they're gonna be good. 
if they have enough time. They got they got plenty of laps, almost uh, 17 laps. If my math's correct. So right now we're, uh, let's see, crunching some numbers here. I think this might be the right move, man. I think, I think if Weep gets in front. Oh, they lost time that time around. Well, that's okay. I, I think it's okay to lose time. It's just, you have the right guy in front now. You have to use his freshies, as I like to say. You cannot have Alexa Gaming get up there. They have to stay in line right here. Stay in line with that. Uh, 20 car was able to have a little bit more downforce in the corner. That's the problem right now. Not going to get the run right now, but the problem is if they don't single file this out, if there's two car tan, yeah, it's not going to work. He can't play the 20 car. He's still trying to maximize every position he can get. No, no, no. He's a chip contender. Um, he he just trying to be the best of the four. The rest, they're just trying to salvage a, a win. I don't think the win's coming. Roach and Garcelma are they're battling very heavy up there in front. This time they gain three tenths. It's it's still ebbing and flowing. I think they have to they have to get the right car in line. And, oh, there's Nelson. Now he's under the top ten, and I don't I only think he's gonna be able to get uh, maybe eighth. I ninth, excuse me. I think the eighteen of birds falling just a little bit. That's as far as his you almost have to hope that the 20 falls back to 8th and then it's just a one last it's going to be one last crap shoot to get the win because I'm thinking yeah with my math there's just not enough time to catch yeah. we'll see though here we go back to the front we, 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 you know, I know we've been focusing on this chip battle let's go to the front they're still battling heavy but they're not losing much time you see they're gaining time that time and, and they're staying on it oh, with two people it's it with two people, it's easy. Just stick in line, and you make a couple moves on the straightaways and just go back in line. Now, at some point, I would think with two to go, they're going to say all bets are off. But, I don't know. With two to go, I at that point, you just know no one's going to catch you from a four and a half second gap at that minimum. So, they're just playing some cat and mouse, as you can see. Sticking in line, being more conservative is the way to go, for sure. There's, there's the flat 47 being complete. Four, four tenths gap. Let's see what Drummer Chick did. That's a huge gain now. Oh, that's a huge gain. They weren't so close to each other this time around. When they're not as close, they lose a lot of time. You wonder now just about gap separation and can the 81 stick with it? The 20 is now starting to draw back a little bit. The problem is the 03 has no, no momentum. Doesn't have any good you go to help him out up there. <laughs> When he's going to go underneath. Twenty looks really good on the, on the excuse me the corners, but the straightaway space. Ooh, nice four tenth gain there. The straightaway pace is lacking, but the corner pace is really good, and that's what's saving this twenty. They went for a higher downforce setup, which is weird. Back to the front, though. It's working out for 11. Us. 12 laps, and this is, this is the problem, right? And that are very close. They're almost tandeming. Now, if he goes low, that's going to help. Is he going to go low? Go low. Wow, he's going to side drag, and that's going to drag him back. Now, the more drag that's created, it's going to help Drummer Jay. It's cat and mouse, and anybody from Drummer Chick all the way back to. I even say I wouldn't throw up Barney Thrasher. They got a shot. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're going to gain plenty of time right here. If they definitely did what they're supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Two tenths. It's coming down. Now, the the problem is if they start doing that, it ebbs and flows the wrong way. 
26, maybe he might have a little more straightaway speed built in, though. Or 66 has more cornering pay. Let's see. They only caught two seconds in 10 laps overall. Yeah, let's let's yeah. I was gonna say let's let's look at let's look at Nelson, but let's look at this. Seems like 26, 26 doesn't have the straightaway speed. 66 just has a better overall car. I think if from the 26, you just fall back in line. If you want to make the move, you, yeah, I forget two to go. Last lap right here, turn was it turn three? That's pretty much it. You bet that checkered checkered yeah, flag and that color. Cody Ford, he's, he's on pace. Yeah, there's going to be no, no, nobody's going to be DQ'd unless it's really, if the leaders get close and they start packing, oh boy. There we go, now we're, now we're seeing some separation here. That's a big mistake, I think, that's going to, th that's going to throw a monkey wrench in their plans, because now, Drummer Chick and, with Gaming and Kazo stay tight, which they did, well, actually, that's going to be it. They're gonna stay tight. They're gonna, they're gonna have a shot right here. This isn't over. Th th that's what they needed, and and that's lack of communication by the spotters. It's just costing them the time. Let's. You gotta think. You gotta start communicating. You got two cars in a pack, and how do you outrun a group of eight? Now we did see in the spring fuel mileage came into play. I, I don't think that's the case here. No, but you never like know. Those people that undercut undercut maybe too early. Oh wow. <sighs> Now we're starting to cook here. We got nice five, five basically f half a second shaved off. But the 40 makes the mistake of going, you cannot go high. That's the sin. You go high, you pay for it. Our question is here, uh, if the 66 and the 26 uh, catch the 60, will the 60 help them out? Oh, yeah. It will. Because... That's a hypothetical. The six, also sniffing the, the draft off the 60 if they get to him. And 60 is going to sniff that trap. He's going to create a little bit more of a buffer. The wit now, dirty air will not help the corner, but in the straights right here, he's good. Now, let's see where that, where's the leaders? It's about four seconds is where you can start to sniff it. Let's see. Okay, a little bit Only a tenth there. game. It's just a tenth. That's nothing. They can live with that. If they go, if they go nine laps to go at a tenth, that's only going to be a second, basically. That's not going to be enough. They do five tenths though every lap. Yeah, we got we got a race. Don't know they gotta get they, they gotta get four ten. Where's now eighty eighty one didn't have help from the forty forty one up high. Kaza went high, and that's I think it's gonna come down to unless gaming free unless the gaming pits gaming free has got nothing. Quadruped's got nothing. Nelson maybe. Let's see how far back is he. Ah, he's with Thrasher in tenth. I don't think that's enough. You're not going to make five. I think this is game. Alexa gave me that undercut call. That might be the win, unless she burns the field too much. What's one of the early? That's only two times. It's not going to be enough. At this point, that I think we're just going to have to split screen pretty soon. At lap 58, we're just going to have to say that the, the battle will become between uh, Sar Salamander and Roach for the win. But more important, I think gaming for, uh, Alexa Gaming is going to win this championship unless we get some r random fuel calculation error because that was a great undercut call but the only question is are you pushing too hard now if i'm the, if i'm the crew here you've got a what four second buffer back it down save a little bit of the corner right here go a little lower fine but save a little bit i don't want to go too high but just stay lower to medium lane not the lowest run your downforce high and you can just save time if you start running downforce low then you got a problem now let's see that's how really Oh, that's a really oh, good wow. lap. Really good lap from Kazo, and now nah, actually, never mind, Zach. You're right. Your your theory is here because Cody Ford's there. He's right there. Where's the leaders? Yep, they're sniffing him. That's it. That's believe it or not, that three second guy is enough of a sniff, and that on the straights is going to pull. I think that's all she wrote. I think it's going to be between Salamander and Roach, parring some miscalculation of fuel. It's been a great season. We're down to six to go. We're going to enter five to go pretty soon. Let's see what they can. Yeah, they're already catching them. Now, the only way Cody Ford plays a role is if they go three wide. And he, he's on the inside, but he just has no pace. No pace at all. They lost time. That might be it. That's all she wrote. 
Here comes Salamander on Forge. This should be the pass, and that with that sniff of the draft, that should do it. Yep. Question remains now. Is that is that that might be the race too? If Forge holds up Roach, that could be it, Zach. I think him tucking in is going to be enough, though. That's going to keep him in play. That's going to help the second pack just a little bit. He's going to have to make the pass. But I don't think that's enough to make four seconds up, or in this case, 3.7 seconds up to second place. It's not enough. Five to go. It's going to be a strategy and fuel here. It's going to come down to fuel strategy. Who, who pit right? That's it. That's it. 4.2. 4 that's all she wrote. It's going to come down to these two for the win. Alexa Game and barring a, st a strategical failure is going to win this championship. What a, what a season. We'll give it to Zach here for a second. I'm commentate before I take the last couple laps. Yeah, pretty much uh, sums it up. Yeah, Roach, like I've said, uh, he's looking. It's not over yet. He's still got Ro uh, Darcy Helmier trying to look for his first one in the season. Uh, Roach looking to get three wins of the season. Making him fourth best overall in terms of wins. If he can do it. But uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. This field's very spread out. You got a couple of runoff cards up there, but they won't be a factor. And uh, again, this has been a pretty decent season. We've had our ups and downs. And uh, hopefully we'll root all those issues we had this year out. Fix them for next year. Again, much better point system next year. We're going to be a better deserving champion probably. Uh, we had a uh, four. Uh, we had several cars have multiple wins this year, so I think it's pretty good for realism. So compared to last year, much better. Uh, a lot to look forward to next year, and this year is also uh, something to see. Is the 20 car likely going to be your champion? Uh, however, uh, for I don't know if you're aware that the 03 is caught almost within two seconds of the uh, 20. Oh boy, that's a huge. I think the tires oh, are falling. This isn't, this isn't over yet. I think, I think you know what, Zach. The one thing we did say to begin the broadcast: who won the last race here? Barney, Barney Thrasher. Thrasher. And look what Thrasher's doing. This isn't over. We might actually have a championship and a race with the Saints. Barney Thrasher has single-handedly pulled Brent Nelson in this championship. Could, could you imagine the scenes if he pulls it off on the last lap? Because it's just down to these two now. Nelson saved the tires. He rolled back the throttle. And he's got a shot. The I'll problem is, will Thrasher make the move? I, I'll be dang. That's crazy. What? Even this close, though. Even if he can't get it, it's this close is insane. This is insane, indeed. It's two, two to go at the line, basically for the leader. These guys are seven seconds back. What is going to happen? Stay in line. He's going to stay in line right He's going to wait to the last lap. He's going to be a sniff on the last lap. That's going to come down to it. Here we go. Two to go. It's. It looks like Roach has got it right now. Salamander is going to have to make a move in a three. What will Nelson do? i got to make sure he doesn't go too high here. He does go a little high, but the 20 also went high. Not a big deal. It's going to come down to if he can get past Weeb. Now, Weeb has the quickest and freshest tires on the track. He's sniffing a little higher, which is fine. But he's going to have to cut back a little bit lower here. He cut back go. perfect there. That's it. He's going to push the Weeb. He's going to try to hope Weeb gets underneath game, and that's not the move, though. Okay. Not the move. I think that might be it. Can anyone get underneath him? It's going to be the question. Pressure and it's going to be his old friend, Barney. That's it. I think Gaming's going to get unless he gets shipped up high. Let's see if Alexa Gaming gets shoved. No. White flag is out. Back to the front. I think it's Roaches to lose. Let's see. Oh. I think that's it. Yeah, Salamander's high. Let's go back to the let's go back to the championship now. Third Alexa Gaming. Coming in here. The underdog, the fourth seed. No one thought it had a chance. And she's gonna go low underneath drummer chick. In the middle, no, stays with Bird. Nelson, nowhere to be found. Coming off the final quarters right here, down the backstretch for the last time of the season. It's been a hell of a ride. Roach is going to be the winner. Third Alexa Gaming from Francais. Polly Vu. Cody Forge in the middle. Not going to matter. It's going to get it done. Finishing in the top 10. That's going to be enough. It's going to be the best of the chip for. And for third Alexa Gaming, it's. J 
It looks like there was a, ca a crash on the last lap somewhere. It's, uh, I'm not sure where, but someone crashed on the ca last lap. Ca caution's out. We'll, we'll check it. Race is over. This is official, but someone must, must have crashed on the last lap. It's looking like the 23 of Sammy. He might have oh. been back there on pace. Well, uh, for every cross the line, I think we'll start seeing someone shuffle down very far back. I mean, Cody yeah, Ford's was back there. But I he, think he, Jonah. Jonah might have been it. Yeah, Jonah. Oh, jo to Jonah. Oh, boy. On the last lap. That's oh, a terrible engine, engine failure. On the last lap. Didn't even cross. They're coming to the last lap. It was two to go. They lost it. When the man, the leader had crossed the white and he just blew up and there goes his dino. <laughs> Unfortunate. Now he's just going to take a little walk to the grass and uh, Should be there, but, uh, a little full send. Yep. Yeah, not going to be able to finish, but uh, oh well. That was a strong day. Congratulations to the Roach on the win, by the way. <laughs> I think you should win, right? Yeah. Well, um, this has been uh, 40 races uh, this season, the longest CCS season in history. Um, we've had several winners, several multi-car winners, some good races, some bad. Um, I want to thank all who've contributed to this, Vince Freeze, uh, all the people who've commented, Dark X Rain, Reggie Fogelman, Eric Monaco, uh, I believe we've had a... Potato Boy pop in a couple times. Bobby, Bobby uh, Isaac. Bobby Isaac, Jonah Burridge. Uh, Bradley. Iggy, who did one. Uh, and Dale Pauls Jr. did a couple. Bradley Ream, of course. And Cactus King. I want to thank all our commentators, mm -hmm. our people who uh, participated, and all who um, are involved in the series. I want to thank everyone for watching this season. And that is pretty much all my statements, Vince. So I'm going to let you go ahead and close this one out. Exactly. I appreciate it there. Uh, it's been a great season. You know, it's unfortunately I never had a chance to really commentate every race, but I do commentate about 15, and it's been a pleasure. We I mean, always got great broadcasts here and great people. Uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy the memories, and obviously next year is next year, but I don't know what we'll be doing next year. <laughs> but uh, if this was my last, like, real broadcast for a while, uh, it's been a pleasure. You guys have been the best. I apologize for a night. Like I said, it's been what, 12 races since I've done one. Um, not the best timing, but you know what? At the end of the day, we got it done, and I'm grateful to be here, and I appreciate everybody. But congratulations to Roach on the win. What a, what a win. Really played pitch strategy well, and just understood the lines better than Garcelle, man. It seemed like they have uh, one of the, the weakest cars of the front pack, but he, you know what? Sometimes just being the sneaky old snake can get the job done, and then what a move by Alexa game, and that's that's how you win a championship. You got to make bold calls and you get an undercut call three laps before everyone else, basically when the cycle ended and got the job done. She's in the draft, understanding your car best with downforce. That's how you win for Nelson. I mean, there's no, what can you say? I mean, he, he picked the right guy to partner with, with Thrasher and unfortunately just went high at the end of the race. And I think he ran out of steam, but if he would have just stayed lower, could have been a different story. And I, Disappointment for Quadruped. You look him on the screen at 32nd. I, he just fell off. Same with Ard. Point, he was the pulse fitter. Um, yeah, that, that, that's all I got. Game of Freak, same thing. He's kind of fell off on that last stop as well. But uh, good day, man. It's been a great season. And, you know, for the fans at home, we thank you for watching the CCS 2023 40 race season and as well as the NCCRS. We do appreciate it, fans. One last time, this is your boy Vince and Zach 103 TV. We're signing off. We'll see you for Daytona in 2024. Bye, everybody.